Hello YouTube, it's me, Bulbs Hamu, and we are here with our server. I'm in Joe's house right now because I wanted to check on Sir Pigglesworth. Uh, we took his uh, little redstone powered rail out because he was just throwing up everywhere and he was getting really sick and it was making me dizzy just watching him. Um, actually, I don't really know the reason why we took it out. I came in here one day, it was gone, but... He seems to be powering it on mm. sheer will alone. Unless there's something going on here I don't know about. But usually right around the portrait and the pumpkin is when he picks up speed. Or, no, there we go. wonder if it has to do when he twirls. Let's watch mm. that. Eh, I can't figure it out. Either way, wanted to check on him. And actually the real reason was I didn't realize my helmet was still over here at Joe's house. So I went and grabbed my helmet and I also was messing around with my Aqua Affinity. Mm seeing if I could up that, but I think I need just a pure Aqua Affinity Enchant to raise this one anymore. Uh, I could be wrong, maybe that's the max you can get is two threes and then that's it on some of the others. Um, I think I've already went the wrong way. Where did... There we go. He's done a little bit of work, like he extended the floor out and stuff, so now like there's the tunnel, he's got a little stairway going to a wall. Uh, he's done a little bit of work, but just enough that it kind of confused me. But we're going to take our little path back. Some slight changes have occurred down here. Like, I've just noticed some subtle differences. Um, one difference is that it seems that creepers and skeletons are getting down here a bit easier. And I say that and realize I don't have my uh, my arrows. and my, or I think I have my arrows, I just don't have my bow on me. But we're going to get back to the house. Which isn't going to take us very long at all. I've gotten pretty good at this. We're just going to pretend I didn't take the wrong turn right off the bat earlier. But, uh, this way. Yes. Oh, that was weird. Screen started going in and out. But what we're going to do today is I think we're going to work on the biggest part of my underwater city. Oh, yeah. And that, uh, that downstairs area I told you I was going to work on. Here is the front of it. We go inside. And I've got a nice little barracks, not a barracks really, just a nice little workroom for any miners that stay down here for long periods of days. I decided days since last accident, nine. Um, I think what will happen is if I accidentally kill myself down here in the tunnels, I'll change that. And each day that goes by, I mean, I say that now, I'll probably forget, but we'll see if I can keep up with that. Or I'll put down the date, dash, how many days, that way when I see it I'll be like, uh, oh yeah, it's been like... 10 days since I changed it, and I'll change the number. And then every time I kill myself, this number will go back to zero. Uh, I also made one of these things, which, if I can find the original person who made it, uh, I will give a link, but it's one of those things that you drop all your resources, whether it be food or ore, into here. And then it drops it through all of these, and then it pumps it out right here. I've got so much coal now. Uh, but then you also dump your coal into there, and I'll just kind of show you this, because I've got enough coal to just throw in. I'll let that go for a second. So you can see that there's 18, 16, 21, 22, not exactly even. I don't know how that happened, but okay. We'll hit the button. It sends a cart back there over some hoppers, and now we have 21, 19, 25, and 26. So it's a way to refuel it. Uh, what I probably just need to do is get these old 64 and then I won't have to mess with it for a while. But I've got this set up and this is the nice, you know, kind of underground. I figured just original, normal clay was good because it's underground. It's like, you know, they just kind of found natural clay built into it, reinforced it. And, um, of course, Kung Fu picture because it's the best picture. Uh, so I think my... Are we? Yes, yes, we are. So we open... And uh, since all the furnaces are down there now, I made a wall with the H4 Hamu. And it makes me feel like a little superhero. Not really, but close enough. It was the only thing I could think to do in such a small little thing. I'd like to do an image, but I didn't really, couldn't really find any pixel art I could do in a 3 by 5 I think it is. So I open it, and it's just the bottom half there, and then I close it. But... Like I was saying, today we are going to work on this section over here. 
Uh, I think what we're going to work on first is I'm going to kind of go out a little bit and we're going to figure out how I want to do the airlock. And it is probably really dark because it is in the middle of the night. So we're going to sleep. We're going to make it day and then we're going to kind of go back out there. I should also put on my uh, respirator helmet now that I have it back. Is that the right one? Yeah. So I know... Oh, that's so much better. I know it's going to come out this way. And then I've been doing 10, I think it is. And there's even though it goes down, the one over here that leads down to the mine is also 10 blocks. So this will come out 10, and then it'll hit the airlock station. And then I don't know if I want it to go out another 10, or if I want it to maybe curve or something. Um, because I'm just not sure if I should do it. 10, airlock, 10, living area. Or if I should do 10 to the living area and have the airlocks at around 5. Then that would make this one feel really cramped. Uh, I could do this one differently. I could do this one 15 or an even number that's longer than 10 but not quite 20. Um, and then have the airlock in the middle. I <sighs> I'm just having trouble with it, but we're, we're going to play with that today, and we're going to see what we think. So I'm going to go on ahead, and I'm going to start getting this out, and I'm going to get the basis down for it, uh, and then we'll work on that and see what we think about it. Okay. So what I'm thinking here, if this is the end of 10, so this right here is where it'll start, and these are just stairs. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh-huh. Here, am I, I'm wearing the helmet, aren't I? Yeah. I just feel like it's darker than normal. Um, let's see. I think for now I will do two stairs because I'm thinking I'm going to do a two a two by two hole that you get in and out of. And I think... Uh, let's go up five. Do I have enough stairs for five? I may not. Probably should have made more. One, two... Three, yeah, I'm not going to have enough for both sides. Four. And then five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this right here will be the level. Uh, oh, drowning. Drowning. Oh, you can't put it on that. Whoops. Uh, we'll just take a quick little walk over here. There we go. Could have just walked right in there, but hey. All right, so right up here, so let's get my stone out. One, two, and um, go in, it'll be right here. I'm debating right now if I want it to just be that or if I want a whole little, I'd probably do a whole little floor around it. So let's just build that out and see what we think. I really originally wanted to do, like you'd hit a button, like I'll just kind of come over here, I'll get some more air. That way I don't have to interrupt myself. I wish they'd let you do like a snorkel. or I guess snorkel wouldn't actually work out very well. So I guess that's okay. Uh, originally, I wanted to do something like you'd come up to the side, you'd hit a button, and then you'd go in, and then it would shut behind you. You'd be in a room, and then you'd hit another button to go in. You know, just like actual pressurized environments, um, like submarine. Well, I guess, well, yeah, yeah, submarines or the space station, anywhere where you have an environment that you can't, you know, directly link up to. Um, but the problem I had for that, going in, that works fine. You hit the button, you go in. But coming out... You hit the button, and I wanted the water to come in. But if the water's coming in suddenly, you suddenly have to fight against it to try to get out there, out into the water. And I don't want to do this in the long term. This is just temporary until everything's done. So I don't want to have that there, but then that means that the water doesn't flow in like I want it to. So I'm thinking on both sides here, I'll just have these that you swim down to, you come up and you come down. And the same thing over here, and I might just put up a sign. One says in, one says out. Um, I'm trying to think. Da, 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 da. That, one's, that one's definitely in. 
someone, I can't remember who it was, was looking at this over my shoulder the other day when I was drawing out just kind of, you know, and paint little ideas. And they wanted me to do it this way, uh, but then have the other one go down, which would involve me having these again because you would exit through that one and then you would just drop in through this one, but it was going so low into the ground. I didn't like it. But, you know, I kind of had this that they said looked okay. So, and that's what we're kind of playing with here. I need to get, uh, I just need to make a bunch more stone stairs. I don't know why I didn't. I just grabbed, I'm losing my voice. Ah, oh, I thought that was over. I just grabbed what I have out of here. I didn't actually realize how many I needed. Uh, and I've got enough. I just, whoops. Let's try that again without failing. There go. I'm just going to make as many as I can. Because I don't know what I'm going to do yet, and I've got enough cobble to spare. So let's get these made, and then we'll make the other side going up. Man, is it because is it because of the water right there? There's actually air, and that's making these look darker? Because nothing else really looks that dark as these do. Ah, it's making it hard to see where to put these. Okay, there we go. Oh, I had a hiccup. Okay, so then you come up, and you're on the same level, yeah, and then you just, so let's kind of simulate that, you're coming from the surface, so let's go up, and there will just be a little, little dome around that, little itty bitty one, not even like that one was, oh yeah, and I fixed that over here too, I don't remember if I showed this off already, but now it's just normal, it doesn't have uh, that little up and down, it's not got its own little thing, I forgot to move the pumpkin back here so you can see what it originally was. I just made it as a little addition. It's got cactus, um, sugar cane, and cocoa. Anyways, we got distracted. Let's get over here. So you're swimming along, so right about here, well, actually probably right in between, uh, if both of these are going to be the same way in and out, there'll be a buoy right here. You'll swim down. Actually, let's simulate this because not everyone's going to have I keep saying sim. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize today. Um, let's do it like you normally would. You're not going to have a respirator helmet, so let's see how many bubbles we have. We're swimming down. It's nice and dark. This is. Doo -doo -doo, there it is. And of course, there'll be light here. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. And then you just swim up, and you're inside. Though right now, we're not inside. So. Oh good, okay. I was wondering if they would slow down or if it would just keep going at the same rate if I was already losing oxygen when I put that helmet on. So then, let's see. This side is going to be the same. Doot, doot. Doot, two. Three. <laughs> Four. And the fifth one right up here. Okay. And then, yep, so that's the same level. Uh, we'll get our little thing here. Oh, no, 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 no. What have I done? I've ruined the whole project now. For shame on me. Okay, there we go. Uh, two. Wait. Did I? Yes, that's right. This one comes out this way. So same little concept, two by two holes. So we have ways in and out. Uh, so let's pull back a little bit here. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drown. Man, this is actually sadly this is kind of what happens on a regular basis when I'm down here. I keep forgetting to watch that. I really have I really need to put a door down since I'm gonna be doing a big one here, but we'll see. Uh, do 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 do. It doesn't look bad. Let's get the rest of the. Uh, is it? Is that the sun? Yeah. So I'll need to go to sleep here in a second. Or else then it's going to just get crazy dark. And I, I hardly can see anything. I can't imagine you guys, you know, trying to watch this on a youtube size video. Probably can't see anything at all. So, uh, let's really quick... Let's move those. Oh, whoops. Get the precious, precious sand I'm going to need for so much glass. Kill the squid who's getting in the way. Come on, move it, buddy. Okay, and then right here is where, well, no, 
No, actually, I think that'll still work. Right here will be my usual next portion. Let me just uh, get some air before I start drowning. I'm just going to leave that one there. That's going to be my, my air spot. Uh, and then it'll come out here. So let's go ahead and break this just so we know where it starts to get bigger. And this will probably be one of the bigger circles, if not the biggest circle I've done, because it's going to just make that one look itty bitty, is the plan, which means it's going to definitely go into this. Um, that I really need to play with, graphing paper wise, uh, and see how I want to do it. Just so that way I can use as much space as possible. I can figure out exactly how I want it to look. But I described it a little bit in the first video, what I'm thinking. Essentially, it's going to be a massive central circular dome. Uh, which is going to be just like a common area with like maybe a park or something. But it's going to be really big is the plan. And I wish I could just hover here, but... Every, along the edge of the circle, there's going to be smaller circles, and those are going to be little individual houses. Um, I'll eventually have to work on getting villagers down into it, but that'll be the goal right now. Uh, let's go on ahead. Do I have just normal cobble? I have two. Let's go get a stack of normal cobble and some glass, and let's make the let's extend that out. <laughs> what happened to my cobble? Oh, it's over here. I don't think I move things around. I think I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'll just blame an invisible fairy. Ah, I need to figure out something with this anvil because I keep getting caught on the edges of it like this. Like, I'm just like, and I'm going around the corner, and I'm fine. But then if I'm in a hurry, and I'm like, duh. Well, that time I didn't do it. There we go, and I'm just like, no. Uh, I could just, well, no. I thought I could jump over it. There we go. But even the jumping, i got to get it just right, or else this happens. So, I'm not sure. I might end up putting it on the wall somewhere. Uh, oh, wait. If I was to put it... Yeah, if I was to put it there, when I move those, it would fall, wouldn't it? I think... Pretty sure it would. I think that's how this works. Um, yeah, let's go on ahead. Let's get out here. Did I grab glass? No, I didn't. I got distracted by the stupid anvil. <laughs> um, we'll grab three stacks. I don't think it'll take that much. But just in case. Alrighty, I pretty much got this whole area made. I'm filling it with the last of the dirt right now. And once I finish that, we're going to see what it looks like. I think it looks kind of neat. Like, I went out and took a look at it, but it didn't have any lights and everything. It was dark. Uh, so we'll look at it again here in a second. I'm just... Get the last of this. I didn't put these at the other end. I, oh, excuse me. I thought I was done hiccuping. Um, I need to go ahead and break these so I can have them at the other portion. I can put them up there. Pick them all up. Put them right there. And now let's dig. And then I'll put torches down as I go. I'm thinking about... While I'm digging this, I'll tell you. I'm thinking about on this stuff. Like, I like it. It looks neat. But now that I've started messing with clay, especially after doing that room downstairs and then the mining room, quartz, clay, using some of the decoration blocks, I might change up how the overall underwater city goes. We'll see once I finish it, because then it'll really be down to, okay, what looks good? And I might try different walls like this room will be the big room that'll probably i'll test lots of things in because there's no animals i have to move no plants that'll get messed up uh, it'll just be simpler to test it with this room find out what floor wall i like right now i'm thinking another thing i might try instead of mossy cobble is mossy brick uh, i'm not sure how much i can get from the fortress we found but I could probably get a decent amount, but I don't know if I'd get enough to do the whole place. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to change the floor or not. If I change the floor, I'm thinking some type of tile maybe, but we'll see. But it looks like we're getting close here now. When I get this, I want to get in the right position for this, because when I break these, it's going to... Well, wait, if I start with the bottom, yeah, it's still going to flow in either way. Oh, yeah, because it's right at level. No! Okay. 
breaking the last few by hand. Okay, there we go. So, done, done, done. This is probably been the easiest one, because instead of getting pushed away while I make them like this... Ah! Come on. No. See, this is what it's usually like, trying to do this. There we go. Aha! So let's get some light in here. Just because I like extra light. Lighting is something I'm definitely going to have to uh, work with. Oh, I didn't do this part like I normally do. What is it? Down. I can fix that later. Uh, but here's how it looks now. You go up. Here's room A. Here's room B. And we'll just kind of... I won't look at it yet. I'll wait till I'm far enough away to look at it so we can get the full picture. And then... I don't think it'll look too bad once it's all done. But there it is. It almost makes me think, like, the next piece you're going to see um, is going to be, like, a saucer dish, and it's going to end up being the Starship Enterprise or something. But here's what I have right now. This almost kind of looks like a plant sprout or something. But, so what I'm thinking then is that right off of this is going to be the big dome coming out. Like I said, I have to play with that. I need to, uh, I need to really decide how big it's going to be to look good when it has all the little bubbles coming off the big bubble, or the little domes coming off of the bigger dome. But this is what I have right now. I think, uh, this is a good little addition. That means I can finally seal up the floor over here, and I won't have to keep doing this thing and accidentally falling in just to try and get out, because usually what happens... Here, let's try now. Yep. No? Usually, it, sometimes it takes a double jump. Let's do this. No, that's weird. I wonder if they change something. Well, if they change it, it's for the good, because used to, I'd have to... Oh, I went underneath. Didn't mean to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm them. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Used to, it sometimes make you jump a second time to get up here. But I'll go on ahead. I'll fix I'll fix up this wall. Um, at some point, I need to put the buoy. The buoy will pretty much go then. Right here. And you can see the balloons through the glass. And I think that's it. Next video. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. I need to get levels, I need to get supplies. I think I have enough supplies. We can do a framework of the dome, and we might, uh... I'm not sure yet. I'll figure out what we're going to do next episode. It'll definitely be the, the dome. I don't know how much of the dome I'm going to do off camera. Uh, I definitely would like the dome to be one episode. Uh, it might be we work on it one episode, and at the beginning of the next you see the finished product. Uh, either way, though, I'm just going to give a nice clear shot here of what this area currently looks like because we're about to just tear the heck out of it and make a big old living dome. Uh, all right, then, though, you have a great day, YouTube.